What's up, what's up? Billy Carson here, Forbidden Knowledge. Going live. I'm going live from paradise. I'm out here in paradise, guys. In the middle of the Indian Ocean. In the Maldives. Beautiful place. See behind me. Sitting on the ocean having an amazing breakfast with an amazing, beautiful woman. Having a great time. You know why I'm having a great time? Because life is great. Is that the YouTube link? Today's topic is a real good topic to talk about. And for right now, for us, it's, um, I think we're 11 hours ahead of the East Coast in in America. So it's early, early morning here. It's about 8 a.m. or something like that over here. Just getting done eating a great, beautiful breakfast in this amazing restaurant. This amazing two-story exclusive restaurant. On the ocean. Got water up, got water at the bottom of the table. Beautiful place, just beautiful. I recommend this, if you can come out here, if you can put this on your bucket list, I recommend you come out here. So the title of this is, Why Do Black People Only Attack Black People? Why Do Black People Only Attack Black People? That's a good question, isn't it? That's a really good question. You know, I kind of touched on this subject before in one of my uh, shows that I did on Forbidden Knowledge TV. But one thing that black people are suffering from is this need or this want to be slightly better than the other person. And this has been ingrained to, into us for literally hundreds of years. And it seems as, uh, you know, a lot of black people just can't seem to break out of that. And I think the ones that can break out of it don't want to break out of it. They don't want to break out of it. Because they found out that they can, they can make money uh, off of it. So you have a lot of these accounts out here on social media. You have a lot of accounts out here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Specifically YouTube, because YouTube will actually pay for views, right? You got these guys and these women, not many women though, mostly guys, because guys, unfortunately, and women know this, men are not as smart as women in most cases. A lot of, a lot of the times we do a lot of dumb stuff, like really dumb stuff. So they'll think, you know what, I can hop on YouTube and I can, I can attack people and I can create controversy. It doesn't matter what I say or how I say it, as long as I make it controversial, I know the black people are going to hop on here and they're going to vibe with this. They're going to they're going to be hype in the comments. They're going to click the like button. And it doesn't matter what I'm talking about. As long as I say anything I want, they're going to really vibe with this and they're going to share it all over the place. And I'm going to get views and I'm going to get money. I'm going to get money. Black people have been significantly and severely brainwashed to the point where they don't care what they say about another black person. They don't care how they attack another black person. They don't care how they murder another black person. And I do mean murder. Who kills more black people than black people? Can anybody answer me that question? Who kills more black people than black people? Black people kill each, we kill each other more than anyone else, okay? There is no, there, there's, there's, in the current era right now, we're out doing the numbers of the slavery murders. We're, we're out doing it. And if we don't do it in the physical form, we do it in the attack, in the virtual form. And the thing about attacking people, people virtually is you think that because you're behind this screen, that the screen has some kind of magical protection to stop you from seeing any ill-fated situations so what's what's happened is black people have uh, taken the attacks to the screen because the because the attack through the screen 
then the cops aren't coming looking for you. There's no warrant for your arrest. You can just attack, 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 and do whatever you want. Pretty much almost try to say whatever you want. And a lot of times you'll get away with it. Not, not even caring about the repercussions of those frequencies and vibrations that you put out into the universe. And so what they'll do is hide behind the screen and use the screen as a shield. That's what black people do. We use the screen as a shield to attack each other. Meanwhile, you look at George Zimmerman. He's still alive and walking around. You look at all these politicians that are not black, that have destroyed, that have created these, the, all these laws that have destroyed and, and, and detrimentally injured the black race financially and consciously, that have locked up more people, more black people locked up per capita than any other country in the world, and mostly people locked up on um, victimless crimes. So we've hurt nobody, but we just were, but we're in jail anyway. Um, and so you look, you look at this, but all the people that created those laws, all the judges that locked up all these black people, all the police that have arrested all these black people and beat these black people and murdered these black people, they're still walking around perfectly fine. Nothing's ever happened to them. Nothing's ever happened to anybody except for black people. Black people only attack black people. They, de they dare not. Look at all these hardcore gangsters, Bloods, Crips, and all these different gang bangers out here. They're not attacking no white people. They open the door for you. And make sure they roll the red carpet out. Make sure you can walk in the store first. Hey, what do you need? I'll, I'll assist you. There's no body out here killing. There's no black people out here running around on a white killing rampage. It's not happening. We've only been programmed and taught for hundreds of years to slaughter and kill each other. Period. Period. And what's happening now? Now you have the social media era where you can just t touch a button on your phone and you can go online and you can make all kind of crazy stuff up for views and likes and attack another black person. And the black people are going to get hype over it and get excited about it. They're going to be like, yay, I can come in here and I can, I can be a part of this bad frequency. I can be a part of these lies and this craziness. It's making me feel good on the inside to, to be a part of this attack. That's what black people do. It's unfortunate, but it's the truth. It's a, it's a fact. You can't deny it. You just can't deny it. Look at all these uh, reality shows. Atlanta Housewives and all these shows. But all we do is just go on there on camera for the world to see and tear each other down. We attack and tear each other down. And, what, what, and who's sitting at home watching these shows? More black people. Watching black people attack and tear each other down, curse each other out, call each other all kind of crazy names. And, and, and treat each other like dog crap and then we get hype over it and we can't wait to talk to our friends about it the next day look what happened to so-and-so and so-and-so look who said look, look what so-and-so said about so-and-so we get excited over that kind of garbage absolute garbage why is that some of it has to do with the programming that we've received through slavery indoctrination if you go back into the slavery days a lot of these people are victims of slavery. These people are, who are out here doing these attacks virtually and in person, they're victims of the slave mentality. These people are true slaves, absolute true slaves to the ultimate letter of the word in the current day. Just, uh, you know, acting on slave tactics that were taught to them by their slave masters. You know, there's people out here hopping on YouTube lives making up fake information and the black people are in the comments going rah 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 just hyped up just pumped up shots fired oh yeah some controversy we need turmoil and controversy this all goes back to the slavery days where they would take two black men they call it buck fighting and they would make them fight each other to the death they would take two black men and see which one was the strongest try to work you to death and which one survived the hard labor which one could survive being beat the most and take that guy and make him mate with all the different women so they would take a what they call a winch they would take her and they would snatch her away from her mom early at an early age in the, in the early teens sometimes preteen 
and they would have these bucks start mating with them so they can make these babies. So they would try to mate the strongest with the youth, with the younger women and create these uh, these strong men that they can use to uh, you know to make all this uh, make all the money for them by building, doing labor, picking cotton, and everything else they needed done, serving them in their houses and everything else. But it really came down to how much hard labor can you do? It's all the Willie Lynch papers. This is all, I'm not making this off the top of my head. This is all facts. And so they'll snatch a woman away from the mom early, make her mate with these bucks, just like you're trying to mate horses and stuff. You take the baby, the baby then is snatched away from that mother after it's born and sold off or kept on the same plantation, depending on whether it's just a breeding farm or it's a plantation that is keeping food. Thank you for the donations, guys. I appreciate it. And then from there, that baby is then, whether it's a man or a woman, is either, as it grows up, it's, first of all, it's, the baby is kept dumb and ignorant. <clears throat> no reading, no writing. You do what the master tell you to do, period, and that's the, that's the best you can do. And you do the labor, and that's it. You don't question anything. You don't research anything. You're not taught to research. This is why the majority of black people that are doing these posts on social media are the worst researchers in the world. They're completely ignorant people. And so then what happens is you go out there, and based off of how you look in terms of your skin tone, you may work in the house. Based off of whether they've taken a liking to you or not, you may work inside or outside. If you're working outside, you're doing back-breaking labor. If you're working inside, you're, you're a house Negro, right? And so now you've got this, this, uh, this jealousy that's building between the person in the house and the person outside the house. The person outside the house wants to be in the house because it's easier, light, lighter load. It's an easier way to go. Easier, easier work, right? You know, making up beds, cleaning toilets. You know, simple stuff, man. Washing some dishes, serving some food, cooking, basic stuff. But the guy outside is breaking his back every single day for 15 hours a day, dusk till past dawn. And then he's only given scraps to eat. So outside workers were given this, the scraps. This is what we call soul food, which is the leftover slop that they couldn't eat in the house, like the hooves and all kind of crazy stuff, you know, the gizzards and all this other garbage soul food is not soul food because it destroys your soul it kills you <clears throat> it kills you early and the people in the house though the house negro he's getting good food he's getting good leftovers right he's getting the, the choice parts the pieces of the meat that are left over because they're the ones cooking the food they can slice and dice up whatever they want for themselves they can get they can eat and then a nice warm inside with a nice fireplace drink some tea all that kind of good stuff so you have this jealousy that builds up that jealousy there between the house Negro and the field Negro builds up and it becomes this huge envious battle over time. Besides that, you also had the other situation where there was this competition for the field Negro. So the person out in the field, the black man out in the field and the black woman out there doing all the hard labor, they would be put against each other for competition wise. Who's picking the most cotton? Who's doing the best labor? Who's the most loyal? Who's the better snitch on people trying to escape and who's plotting this and who's plotting that? Trying to look for favor from the master, right? Trying to look for favor. And so that build up this thing where I got to be, I got to be, I got to put this one down so I can look better. Then you had, to, you know, that's when the, the beginnings of I got to make up stuff about this person because I make up stuff about this person to the master. I'm going to have favor in the master's eyes. And when I have favor in the master's eyes, then guess what? I'm going to get a little bit more favoritism. I'm going to get, I might, I might be able to eventually one day be in the house or whatever. Okay. So I might get an extra plate of food. Who knows? All this crazy stuff. So this starts this little battle there. So you have all these little internal battles going. And so what you have is a race of people that want to see you do good, but never better than them. They want to see you. And when I say you, I'm talking about only blacks. They want to see a black person do good, but never better than them. Once you surpass where they are, mentally, consciously, and financially, they must go on the attack. They must attack you. They must bring you down at any expense. Because you just triggered an epigenetic memory from ancestors in their body. You triggered their ego. You triggered their, um, 
their, their ignorance and their inability to succeed at a specific level. You trigger the envy in them, the pure, unadulterated envy. And then what happens? They go on the attack. They go on the attack. And a lot of these attacks, what they're trying to do is they want you, you meaning me, for example, they want me to call their name out. They want me to say their name on my social media account. You know why? Because they need me. They need me and I don't need them. They want me to jump in on my pages and say, hey, so-and-so said this about me. This is his account or her account. So you guys can run over there and they get the views and they get the money. They get the popularity, they get the, 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 the looks. So what they're trying to do is establish a form of obtaining limelight by creating controversy, and I mean fake controversy, off the back of someone else who's already successful that they have become jealous and envious of because why because they're nothing they have done nothing in their life they have achieved nothing they've made they've reached none of their goals they've barely barely scratched the surface on what their potential actually really is all they've learned how to do is scam more black people for hype through controversy using a screen as a shield using a screen as a shield and if, the reason why we shouldn't do these kind of things is because there are people out here that are really hitters, like real hitters. And you, black people know what I'm talking about when I say hitters. There's real hitters out here. You never know who has people that support them that are real hitters. Screens can only protect you for so long. Screens are temporary shields. There's real hitters out here that are so loyal to people that they will go and find somebody. They will go and find somebody. And there's nothing that any me or anybody else can do about it because they're acting independently. People think that this social media thing and these screens give them some kind of impenetrable shield against anything happening to them. But if you look in the news every single day, you find that people are getting killed and attacked and stalked and everything else because they said something on social media they, when they should have probably just kept their damn mouth shut. They just probably should have. These people are clout chasers. That's all they are. They're big time clout chasers. And they're thinking, if I talk this shit on my, on my account, it's going to get back to him or her, whoever the person is. They're going to they're gonna have to say something about this because in their mind, they understand that black people they thrive on controversy, thrive on it. They thrive on it. Black people thrive on controversy. We actually need it. Well, I don't, but majority of black people, they need the controversy. They need the hate. They need the attacks. They want to see the attack. They want to see responses. This is all from slavery times. This is the ultimate definition of a true modern day slave. It's all about the mentality, the, the consciousness, the mindset. It's still locked into us very heavily. Don't you know that the majority of people that attack me and attack my character and what I do, even though I've given away millions of dollars and helped hundreds of thousands of people around the world, it's not white people. It's not Asian people. It's not indigenous people. It's not Spanish people. I think I have one or two white people that have attacked me over the years, and that was light. The majority of the people that attack me on a daily basis they actually issue death threats which have to be reported to the FBI and those death threats are screenshotted and up on legal team forbidden knowledge Instagram account are black people black people do this why do they do this why do they attack like that why do they do this because number one it's in the DNA we're programmed to be good slaves we must bring down our brother. We must bring down our sister. We must. It's in the DNA. It's in the DNA. So no matter how conscious a lot of these accounts seem to be, when given the chance, they will literally go out and attack another black person without even think, without even giving it a second thought. Without even thinking about it first. Whatever you think about how it would affect them, their family, their children, their children, their grandchildren, 
without even thinking about it, without even giving a second thought, every time you speak something out into the universe that's attacking towards someone, you have to really think 3,000 times about it. You have to really go and do real research on it. You got to know exactly what you're talking about. You know why? Because when you speak, you're creating ripples in space time that will alter the future reality in the third dimension. So what you're doing is you're creating, you're time traveling through cymatic frequencies. And when you time travel through cymatic frequencies, what you're doing is you're altering or uh, adding to another person's timeline. And you don't know what that ripple effect is going to be. That one word you spoke, that one sentence you spoke could cause a situation in a future timeline of somebody else that actually injures them, that gets them killed. These people that speak, not only do the people that they're talking about have hitters that support them, but the people that speak also have hitters that support them. That are also trained to attack one another. So the next thing you know, there could be a zealot. You know what a zealot is? A person that becomes a fanatic. There could be a fanatic fan of this entity or this person. And then they could see somebody's child out in the street somewhere and start something with them and end up into a, into a murder. It happens all the time, guys. This stuff happens every single day of the week. Just look up the articles online. Google the articles on social media murders. Look it up. It happens every single day. Not every other day, not once a year. No, it happens every single day. Black people, we have to find a way to overcome these epigenetic programs and I do mean programs that we're operating under. A lot of us are operating on pure programming code. We're not even thinking for ourselves. We're just running software. And we're doing the dumbest stuff out here. And the people that have injured us financially, mentally, and physically are walking around with no injury. There's no way not. This guy who, 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 who the people who go live and do these crazy talks and make up all kinds of stuff attacking other black people, they'll never go live and attack uh, anybody else that's not black they won't they won't do it you, you, you'll you'll rarely see that happen you'll rarely see any uh body of any of these chicago hitters these murderers in chicago and, and la and these other places you're not going to see these guys running up on george zimmerman and whacking him you're not going to see them running up on on these politicians that created these fucking these laws that destroyed black people you're not going to see them running up on these judges that have been locking black people up illegally for money you're not going to see them run up on these judges and whack them you're not going to see them get murked why is that why are these all these people that have destroyed the planet who runs all the companies that have destroyed this planet these fortune 500 and fortune 1000 companies that have um that have used chemical the oceans as chemical dumps that have raped the ocean of all of its sea of sea life that have poisoned cities water supplies and everything else and he can drop chemicals in towns who are who are these people they're not black people but guess what guys they're never going to get touched they're never going to get touched by these so-called um you know gangsters <laughs> why is that do you know why because they're not black that's why we're programmed we're running on a program code to attack one another it started off with slavery it moved into the ghettos that were developed where the black laborers would live that basically built the entire united states and a lot of other places around the world because black people have been enslaved almost on every single continent okay and then it moves from there into financial enslavement where you have these ghettos and you have the people that are really battling each other over resources so because we've been economically deprived financially deprived consciously deprived knowledge deprived and taught that we have to die to get to heaven we can't bring heaven to earth meanwhile these people they walk around with heaven on earth every single day and then we have to die to get to heaven so what do we do it's a straight competition every single day. It's a competition every single day. How can I destroy this one to bring him down? Because I need his resources. I got to bring this one down over here because I need to take those resources. Because it's a battle over resources. It's a battle. It's a war over resources. 
when you see these people pop up on these social media accounts and these YouTube accounts, why are they doing these attacks with this fake knowledge? It's a battle for resources. They need the money. This guy and these people and these who jump up on these accounts and start doing this um, ill-advised uh, fake news, they need the money. They actually need that money. Like they're waiting for that YouTube check to come in so they can actually pay their bills. They actually financially need that money. They need that money to pay bills. Like they're relying on that money. It's part of their income source. Well, I haven't been, I just got monetization back. I hadn't been monetized in YouTube. And, and how many years has it been since I was monetized? Five. Five years. Five years on YouTube, no money. No money. I just got monetization back a few months ago. I think it was three months ago I just got monetization back. Did you see me hop on YouTube and start making up all kind of fake news on people? No, I bring real original content that teaches people things. One thing I do like about these attacks that black people do, do on me is the majority, and not all, but the majority of the people that, um, that follow those fake woke pages, when they give me the free shot, because I do call it a free shout out, when they mention my name and put my name in the subject line, it sends people over to my accounts. And guess what? Not all, but the majority of the people end up following me. The majority of the people end up learning from me and getting knowledge from me. I love it. I love it. And that's the way it's supposed to be. All this Black Lives Matter and all these scam scam companies out there, BLM, scam company, funded by George Soros himself, one of the most evil men on the face of this planet, you know, and got everybody running around, BLM, BLM, not even knowing what, what BLM is, who supports it, and that they haven't accomplished not even one stinking thing for black people. Not one thing has ever been accomplished for black people from that whole, from that whole movement, not one thing. Just more hate, more attacks, more divide and conquer. It's all it's ever done. Done nothing. It's achieved nothing. The people who own, who, who are running that nonprofit, took the money from all the donations that bought mansions and islands and all kind of stuff. Look it up. They took your money, the money from you guys. And then they, they went on shopping sprees. They bought cars, exotic cars and all kind of stuff. And you guys are running out here painting BLM in the streets and everything else. And you don't even know what it means. It means nothing. They have done nothing. They've helped nobody. They've, they've got no judges arrested for false imprisonment. They've got no police fired. They've achieved absolutely nothing. Zero. You know what they've achieved? Black people continue to attack black people. That's what they've achieved. If you don't believe in the BLM movement, then we're going to attack you. If you don't get on, on board with us, I saw the, the two, two newscasters. One, one newscaster was uh they're both black one newscaster wasn't on board with the whole thing the other guy was he was hardcore he attacked this guy's integrity and everything else right on tv black against black again black attack i call it the black attack it's just a non-stop black attack going on everywhere you look i remember when i was when i first launched forbidden knowledge on instagram and i had my already before that i had my billy carson account because i have you know, two two main accounts on Instagram. Then I have all my other accounts, and nobody knew who I was because I only used the logo. I never used my face. I knew that since I was getting on a lot of TV shows, people will eventually see my face. So I wanted people to be able to associate my face with the Forbidden Knowledge logo. So I started getting on Forbidden Knowledge Instagram account and Facebook page. This is you know going back to 2000. Uh, 2014 I believe the first time I put my face on there and um, who attacked me right away black people attacked me you know what they told me you hacked this account you stole this account you can't be this smart I, I can't be this smart a black man can't know this information what when I say they attacked me I'm not talking about a couple of comments I'm talking about hundreds of comments every single day this account must be owned by an Asian man. I'm like, what? That's when the black attacks started around 2014. And the bigger I got, the more black attacks, especially the black flat earthers. Those are the biggest zealots that exist on the planet right now. Those people have pulled guns on people that I know that have accounts. Uh, uh, one flat earther, I'm not gonna call his name out because he's, a, he's an evil person and I'm not gonna give him any credit. He pulled a gun on Stand Up 9-11. 
that Instagram account. A lot of y'all know that Instagram account. Stand Up 911 was dating his sister, and this guy wanted him to promote Flat Earth on his Instagram account, and he wouldn't do it. So he pulled a gun on him and put it to his head. Yeah, pulled a gun on Stand Up 911 and put it to his head and told him, you're gonna promote Flat Earth on your account or I'm gonna kill you. This is the craziness that's going on. Stand Up 911. He was forced into even accepting some of those people in his, a couple of his workshops that he did because he was afraid that he would, he liked, he really loved this girl. But he was afraid that if he, if he didn't do it, he would lose her and maybe even get shot. This is the kind of craziness going on out here. Black attacks over dumb stuff, over ridiculous foolishness. You see, ridiculous foolishness. We gotta stop this garbage, man. We look like complete idiots to the world. I mean, I tell you, we look like idiots. Pardon my French, man, but we look like fucking clowns. We don't look like clowns to each other because we're, we're happy to have the controversy. We're loving it, man. We're, we're, we're soaking it up, aren't we? We're just, oh man, look at this shots fired. Oh, look at, oh man. Oh, look what he said. Look what he did. That's us. But while we're doing that, foolish crap, the other people on the outside, they're looking at us going, Look at these dumb monkeys, man. They're stupid. Just laughing at us. We're like a laughing stock on the planet. We're not even a laughing stock in America. I don't think you. I don't think you got. I've been around this world. We're not a laughing stock in just America. Listen to me. We're a laughing stock on the planet. Earth. Every continent. They're still enslaving us in Africa, in Libya. We're still. There's still slaves running around out here. We still got four hundred dollars a head for slavery. That's why when I go to certain countries, I have to have armed guards so I don't get sold into slavery. You got to watch what country you go to and you have to have armed guards to just, to just to travel to see some of these places because they will snatch you up, stick a needle in your neck, and you'll wake up in a slave camp in Libya for 400 bucks. You don't know. You, listen, you, you guys don't understand what's going on out here, man. We are at the bottom of the totem pole. We're below the lowest uh, ranked people on the planet. We're below them. Indigenous people, which have been abused worldwide. We have now hit a new low. We're now below them. Okay? We're now below them. And that's a fact. That's an absolute fact. You could take it to the bank. I've been around this planet. I got the receipts, as the black people like to call it. I got the passport stamps. I challenge anyone to, to tell me I'm wrong. I've seen black people on every continent and I've seen the level. Yeah, you can see some big time, uh, you know, you got a few hundred billionaires that are black and you got a few thousand multimillionaires in the country that are black. The world has 7.8 billion people on it. 7.8 billion. Don't be delusioned by the few rappers and a couple of actors that made, that ended up making and some sports athletes that made big money. When you go around this planet and take a look at all the inner cities in America, you realize the numbers are staggeringly off. Poor, wealthy. There's a tiny bit up here and a huge amount at the bottom. And everywhere I go, we are a laughing stock. Why do y'all do this? Why do y'all say that? How come y'all act like this? What are you guys up to? What are you doing? I get the questions everywhere I go. Like, what is going on with you people? It's ignorance is what's going on with people. Ignorance. The need to act on epigenetic memories, which can last for 15 to 20 generations in your DNA. What is epigenetics? Epigenetics is when the trauma it's only passed down through trauma. When the trauma of a situation like slavery gets passed down through the RNA, not the DNA, through the RNA from the father's sperm. What did they do in slavery times? They would take black men and fight them against each other, work them to death and make them mate with women this is why you have a lot of households from uh, in America and really around the world where the black men, a lot of single moms, a lot of black single moms out here. Why? Because that's the way we were programmed. Have sex, 
get them pregnant and leave in immediately like don't even wait around just get them pregnant and go get them pregnant and go get them pregnant and go 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 we were just for mating that stayed in the dna it's in our epigenetics so the trauma of that gets passed down through the rna from the male sperm that goes into the baby and it gets passed down up to 15 to 20 generations so when i tell you there's people here that are operating and walking around on straight program code from the matrix we're out here every single day you see this guy just a little while ago hops on his Insta or his youtube live i'm not even going to give him the, the props of giving him a name and starts talking about i don't really know billy carson i haven't even looked into him but i'm tired of seeing this guy pop up on my youtube thing and and this guy says he's an alien i will pay anybody a hundred million dollars cash i give them everything i got all my houses my cars everything you tell me show me any video where i ever said i was a damn alien and you got the people in the comments yeah yeah he said he was an alien what kind of craziness is this what kind of psychosis are we under you got black accounts out there he said he was 65 years old i ain't never show me one video I, anybody from anywhere where I ever said I was 65 years old and I give you a hundred thousand dollars cash show me the video go find it go find a statement go find a quote go find anything in every interview when I have thousands of interviews going back now to 2013 they asked me a question how do you get into how did you get into this field I said well when I was seven years old in 1977 I saw a UFO in my backyard now any person with any kind of school basic elementary school education you say oh he was seven in 1977 it's 2021 he can't be 60 something years old the guy just basically gave us his age right there and there's thousands of interviews like that that go back years they always ask me the same question how'd you get into this and i start off with that same exact story every single time it's all over youtube it's all over every tv interview it's all over everything first thing they ask me guys the first thing they ask me common sense if he's seven in 1977 how the hell can i be 65 damn years old man i'm 50 which is still up there but not 65 you see it starts with the foolishness somebody wrote an article about me in sports that said six foot four billy carson this was a few years ago six foot four now they had the six the quote four and the double quote that's how they started the sentence six foot four billy carson and it went to talking about a little bit of my sports and it got into some of my other business stuff. Somebody took that article and put 64 Billy Carson without the quote. Maybe their software deleted the quotes. Maybe they forgot to put them in. I don't know. That article took, then somebody copied their article. And because, you know, when you do blogging, you just, people just copy articles. They don't even think anymore. They're, people aren't, aren't even, they just take stuff and grab it. They don't even try to change it around a little bit. And so 64 Billy Carson just kept getting passed around. Eventually it got indexed into Google. I didn't have my own blog yet and I wasn't on Wikipedia yet. So it get indexed into Google. So you Google it and said, people would argue, man, I can't believe you're 60. That, that, you know, every year it goes up automatically. I said, man, no, I'm not. If Google says you are, I said, oh, you, I'm, I'm, Google is right. Google is smarter than me now. Is that what you're, trying, you're telling me? Google's not, is, is it, it knows my age better than my, I know my age? Come on, man. We got to stop acting stupid. So, we'll say whatever. All right. So, when the Wiki, Wikipedia, whatever the name of that page just came out, it has my, I, they interviewed me and I gave them my information that's available. So, now these guys go on there and they go, We discovered his real age. No, you didn't discover anything, guys. I put it online so that people can know what my age is and who my family is and who my kids are and what my accomplishments are. I put that online. You didn't discover anything. You, you're not this great investigator or researcher that discovered anything. You just, Googled me and you found the real information instead of looking at the, the fake news or the misrepresented information. It's basic stuff, guys. Basic stuff. It's just dumb stuff. He went to prison. He was a convicted felon. No, never went to prison, never was a convicted felon. You didn't research the case. You didn't find out that the case was terminated six months later and thrown out because of false information. That somebody had stolen my identity. You didn't look you didn't look into that you didn't research that you didn't you guys didn't check it out you just ran with it as soon as a black person sees something online we take it and i had to get on somebody's case the other day this person that i know he got online 
and he saw something on his feed that ended up that was fake news. He took it, he copied it right away and posted it on his account and started made this long comment about it. And it was fake news. It wasn't even close to being real. I went into his DM. I, I don't expose people online. I'm see, I'm not I'm not evil like that. I don't go in on their feed and talk crap. I sent them a DM. I said, dude, this is not real information. Here's the sources for this. I said, we have to do better. We can't just take information and not research it and post it on our social media. We have a responsibility to the world. This guy's got a big account. I said, we can't just run out there and throw this stuff out online like it's the gospel, man. You can't do that. You have to only post what is factual or to the best of your ability, you've now come up with a theoretical conclusion. You can't just throw, take somebody else's stuff and run with it immediately. But the 99% of your stuff is garbage. The whole thing, like, for example, another, a thing came out the other day. U.S. Marines discovered um, children being sold into sex slavery and shut down a sex slavery uh, trading camp. That was fake news. It didn't even happen. Not even close to happening. It was just made up by somebody for views and likes. It, was, didn't, it didn't happen. I would love for that to have happened, but it didn't happen. But that got, went viral. It went everywhere. Everybody was posting it. Nobody checked it out. Nobody checked it out, man. We got to stop this foolishness, man. We look like idiots out here. I mean, we look like fools. And I'm trying to talk low because I'm in this restaurant, but we got to stop this dumb shit. We look like clowns. And you know who we don't look like clowns to? We don't look like clowns to ourselves because we want the drama. We want the trauma. We want the, the, the envy. We want the craziness. We want to see the jealousy being acted on. We want to see the egos going back and forth. We need it because it's, our, it's the program code from slave, from slavery times. We need it. And you see these black guys hop on these YouTube accounts and social media accounts and start attacking me and other black people. What they're doing is black buck fighting. It's black buck fighting. And what they want you to do is they want you to hop on your account and call their name out and start talking about them. And so the people come over to you and listen to you talk about them. And then they go back to them. Oh, I got to respond to this guy. And then they go, you, then the people go back to their account and watch that guy talk about them. And then they go back to this account and watch that guy talk about them. It's a, they want the back and forth. They want the buck fighting to go on in modern times. It's time to end that garbage, man. It's a bunch, that, that's garbage. That's foolishness. Foolishness. Everybody needs to just grow the hell up and start supporting one another. Why do the Jews blow up and do so good financially? You know why? The real reason why? Is because when a person reaches of age in the Jewish community, they come up with a business idea. And when they come up with that business idea, everyone at their temple has to, not whether they like the person or not, they have to give money towards that person's goal and dream. They have to, whether they like them or not. Well, liking them doesn't, is irrelevant. They must do that. And they give that person two chances. If the first one fails, they give them another chance. That's support. Why do white people succeed financially and have pretty much dominated the entire planet of Earth for a long time, guys? Thousands of years. You know why? You want to know why? Because they have consciously encoded themselves with a specific gene that tells them that they can accomplish anything that they set their mind to. They can literally accomplish whatever they want. They can take over an entire country. They, can, they would go around the world trying to take over countries that they didn't even know who, who was there, who, what, who they were even gonna run into. They would go take over a whole country. They would go take over a whole damn country and they would take over multiple countries in ancient times. They would just keep going until they finally get stopped somewhere. Their, their, their kids are born today, white kids are born today automatically programmed that they're gonna be successful. They're programmed, it's in their DNA. They don't even have to think about it. They can be assholes, they can be this, they can be that, or they can be great people, it doesn't matter how they are as a person. Their programming code tells them you're gonna be successful, you have a chance, you have a shot. So the majority, not all, but the majority of them 
they are doing financially better and the statistics don't lie you look up the stats financially better than black people yes the laws and things like that have been set up in their favor but that's again why because white people created the laws again they're supporting one another they support one another why do asian people do so well because they come together and they support each other they'll put uh, you know three families will live in one house while one while one and, and all work at the same company or the same business until it blows up and then they'll spread out from there support help assistance whether they like the person or not does it's irrelevant they're going to get the help and support period point blank it's going to happen because we got because them they got to look out for them spanish people same thing i remember growing up in miami early 70s i watched the mariel boat lift that's when cuba sent all those uh uh people homeless people and prisoners to america on boats those people came over here with zero and i do mean they had negative zero forget that they had work they had less than i had all they had was a shirt on their back which was ripped up and torn from the ocean and some of them didn't even have shoes those people became multi-millionaires they became billionaires some people built miami and they only bring in one another they only hire hispanics they turn miami into a damn spanish nation you go down there you better speak some spanish you better go down there and speak some spanish or you ain't gonna get nothing what do black people do attack one another attack 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 he looks like he's doing better than me let me bring him down she looks like she's doing better than me let me attack her and bring her down let me talk bad about them whether it's good or true or not let me attack let me just attack i gotta attack i gotta i gotta do something i can't allow this that's the slave mentality kicking that's the programming go to just kicks and click that's like the agent smith effect in the matrix right if you're talking to a person in the matrix you can talk about anything you want but when you talk about becoming free agent smith pops into their body whoop, and they change into something else they turn into a damn program the programming code kicks in and locks them back down and Jake, they try to make you shut up don't talk about being free don't talk about doing better don't talk about financial literacy don't talk about being successful don't show people how successful you can be don't get online and show people that you can you can go to a on a forty thousand dollar vacation don't teach them how to do that i don't like you doing that because it didn't come from me and if it didn't come from me i gotta try to i gotta try to make you look like a fool that's the programming code when you see black people doing this kind of stuff on social media attacking another black person all they're doing is they're operating on slave programming they're just modern day slaves they're nothing more modern day slaves in the matrix running on pure code now i'm not talking about all black people when i say black people i'm giving a generalization but unfortunately unfortunately the majority of black people are still locked into that mindset lot you know hundreds of years of religious programming hundreds of years of slave programming has got us in that mindset field negro house negro light skin black dark skin black we gotta attack you remember the attacks it's dark skin season no it's light skin season you remember those attacks they're still going on to this very day black people attacking black people because of the color of their skin do you know in Haiti right now and other countries around the world, if you're dark skinned, you're still at the lowest level of being black. If you're a light skinned black, you're slightly higher than the lower skin the, than the lower level black. But you're both still black and you're both still at the bottom of the totem pole. One's just got a little bit more clout than the other. And they attack each other viciously. Viciously. Black on black attack over the skin tone. You're not dark enough. Ridiculous, man. You got black women out here running around, destroying their bodies, destroying their hair, destroying themselves every single day. Not all of you. A lot of you went natural 
and found other ways to, you know, do it. But this competition is typically with each other. I was talking to a black woman who was doing all these things to her body. And I was asking her, like, you were already beautiful. Why did you do this? Like, why? Like, you, she messed herself up. Because I'm in competition. I say, in competition with who? I'm in competition with these other women out here. I said, what kind of craziness is this? We don't, black men don't care about this stuff you guys are doing. We, we don't care. You, you, you go, you're overdoing it. Like, we're, we're happy. We were happy with what you had. You turned this thing into you guys look like puppets. You guys look like clowns out here. With the fake butts and these things. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm doing it because I'm in competition. Her exact words. I'm, we're, I'm in competition with other women. You're not in competition with other white women. You're obviously in competition with other black women. Again, more black on black competition. For what, man? You guys got to stop it. This is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's got to stop. It's just a bunch of foolishness. And we're the only ones that are getting the entertainment out of it. There's no... The entertainment value is only coming from black people. There's no entertainment value coming from any other race. There's no there's no white people hopping on these accounts to watch these these things. There's no people, there's no Asian people and no other races of people hopping on to watch these kind of crazy talks. And this, and this these are uh, these attacks. It's only black people doing it. We have to stop the foolishness. We got to stop fabricating information and making stuff up taking information without doing any research running away with information we saw posted online and just taking it and going oh this is a fact I gotta put this out there like you're some kind of uh, modern day CNN it's gotta stop it's gotta stop man it's foolishness absolute garbage one thing that has been very successful that they've done is they've really convinced us that we must continue to be against one another. And the reason why they did this is because it has economic value. When black people attack black people, it creates economic positive value for other races. You have to understand this. If I'm attacking another black person, I can create controversy amongst black people and we're spending all of our time fighting one another. What, while we're fighting one another, other races are buying up all the stores in our neighborhoods, all the corner stores, all the empty lots, all the apartment buildings. And what are they doing? They're becoming the landlords. They're becoming the property owners. They're becoming the store owners. And what kind of stores do they put in your neighborhood? Pawn shops, liquor stores, fast food stores, right poison to keep you even more dumb so they can continue taking all your money gambling spots so you can gamble throw away your throw your money down the drain instead of investing your money into stocks and crypto they got you throwing your money away lottery tickets at every gas station on every corner lottery 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 so you can keep throwing your money down the drain in hopes of winning a couple dollars with the odds are stacked way against you you'd be better off putting that money if everybody who was buying lottery tickets took that same exact amount of money and put it into crypto, they'd all be millionaires right now. But we didn't even know what crypto was. We didn't even know what, how to invest in a stock or what a stock market was. Somebody says, you're talking about black American? I'm talking about blacks around the world. I've been around the world. Maybe in your city where you're at, you guys are doing good. But let me tell you something. I'm talking about the majority, not the minority. Are there black people doing good in pockets around this planet? Yes. Can't deny that. There's beautiful places in Africa where people are doing phenomenal. Living in mansions and living a great life. I'm talking about the majority worldwide. Worldwide majority. Religion has destroyed us. You see these people in Africa, these bridges, these churches where you have these mega churches that have thousands of people going there. Listen to all this fake gospel running around jumping around shaking and all these fake healings people jumping out of wheelchairs and all this tv uh entertainment garbage you see it everywhere i've been to all these countries where i see people 
uh, living out there in these shacks, tin, tin roofs and everything else. And even though they're living in complete and utter poverty, they spend their whole days worrying about their neighbor and attacking their neighbor. I've been there, guys. I've been around the world three times. I don't care about these small pockets here and there around the world where there's success being shown. What I'm talking about is the majority. It's not just America. <laughs> it's not just America. Trust me on this. It's not just America. It's in the UK. It's in Germany. It's in uh, uh, other parts of Europe. It's in Rome. It's in the Yucatan. It's in uh, Mexico. I can keep going on and on and on. It's all over the place. It's in Egypt. Egypt is so bad. I'm doing a documentary on Egypt. Living in the shadow of the pyramids is the name of the documentary. Living in the shadow of the pyramids. This documentary is going to make y'all cry how bad it is. You're going to see five-year-olds doing the work of grown, full-grown men working 40, 50 hours a week. Hard labor. Five-year-olds. And what do they do? What do the people of that area do? They attack one another every single day. My religion is better than your religion. Your religion is better than... They're attacking over religious beliefs every single day. And while they're doing that, the government's running off with all the money. The president is worth $80 billion. And the people are all living in run-down shacks and collapsing buildings. They got the black people fighting each other every single day over whose religion is the best. And they will kill you. They will kill you if you don't agree. I guarantee you that. I was walking down the street in Egypt just a few months ago that had some heavy, hardcore zealots. And I told my guide, I said, you just walked me down the most dangerous street probably in the world. In the world. Because you had every religion on one block and these people were going in. They were seeing who was chanting louder. Who was going to pound their head on the ground the hardest. It was just ridiculous. It was absolutely ridiculous. We're fighting each other. While everyone else, all the other races are running off with all the riches on this planet. They're running off with all the riches. They're bringing their heaven to earth. And we're waiting to die so we can live. I'm giving you the hardcore facts, man. I'm giving you the hardcore facts. We're waiting to die so we can live. And they're running away and having heaven on earth right now while they're alive. And they got you programmed to thinking that you got to die to live. What is the reason for the most deaths on planet Earth? What is the reason for the most deaths since recorded history on Earth? Religion. Religion has killed more people. More people. Than any other reason. More wars have been fought over religious beliefs than any other reason on Earth. More people have been killed because of that. has destroyed us. Religion and slavery, corporatism and capitalism has put us in a situation where the majority of black people on this planet and then also because of slavery, I'm going to blame this on slavery. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm right on this one. But we don't do a lot of research, man. For some reason, black people are more emotional than any other race. I can say this up because I'm black. And I got five black kids and three black grandchildren. So don't tell me nothing else about what I do and what I don't know. I grew up in the ghetto. I grew up in ghetto so hard, most of you people never even lived the life that I lived. You never even been there. You never, you never start, you didn't start where I, my doc, the documentary on my life is being, is coming out soon. You guys have no clue. And all the interviews of all the people that I interacted with and things like that, the places I've been and had to go, it's all in there. It's all gonna be in there. You guys don't know what hard living is, some of you. You don't, even, you don't even have the slightest clue. You don't know what it feels like to get robbed by the crossing guard, by the school crossing guard. You don't know what that feels like to get jacked by a school crossing guard. I'm gonna show you where, where I came from. I could talk about this lot about black people because I came from underneath the ghetto. And I got the receipts, as they say, on the reality shows, right? I got the receipts. So I can talk about this. I'm qualified to talk about this. We got a lot of growing up to do. And it's a shame that I would even have to get on here and make this talk 
but the facts are this is the this is the elephant in the room talk at some point those of us who have consciously figured this out we got to go reach back and we got to start talking to our brothers and sisters and saying hey man when we hear them talking that bullshit when we hear them talking that garbage and that crap we got to say hey dog wait hold check check yourself man you we're supposed to be building one another not tearing each other down check that you got to check start checking people like dude what are you doing right now i don't want to hear that garbage if you're not building another, another person up don't don't talk to me you got to stop smirking and laughing and bobbling your head like a bobble doll when they start talking this garbage and start correcting people saying dude if you're not going to talk to me i don't care how good of a close a friend family member or how good a close a friend is if you're not going to talk to me about positivity if you're not going to talk to me about being uplifting if you're not going to talk to me about support and about s solutions then don't don't holler at me i don't want to hear it i really don't want to hear it i got a friend that i known since junior high school because back then you didn't have middle school they had junior high school in the early 80s and this guy Every time he calls me, he's got bad news for years. And I used to take his calls because I know he needed somebody to listen to him. But I came to the realization that all this bad news he was giving me was giving me, making me feel weird. It's like getting me my heart racing and getting my perspiration up and making my palms sweat. And because I'm a problem solver and I can't, you know, I give him solutions and he can't act on the solutions. I came to the realization, why am I listening to this negativity every single time this guy calls me? I put him in check. I said, dude, you got to call me with some good news, man. I can't, I, you can't, every time you call me, it can't be a nightmare. It can't be a disaster, man. Like you, you're destroying me. You're destroying my, my whole thing. You just tearing me down. I can't take it. I had to put him in check. Like, dude, call me with good news, man. I understand we all go through things. But you, every time you call me, it can't be something bad. Give me something good. He said, okay. He called me the next time. Bad news again. So you know what I did? I put him. I put his phone number on block. And I've known this guy for over 20 years. I had to, this guy's been in my house for Thanksgiving dinners. But I had to put him on. I had to block him. I had to block him, man. I had to put him on block. I can't take it. I can't take the negativity. I just can't do it. It's not that I don't want to hear negative things. I know negative things happen every single day. But at some point, we got to realize. I, I realize he's just operating on programming. He's been programmed to be negative since he was born. His mother acts like that. His mother talks like that. He's talking and acting like that. And he just more or less really want attention by giving out negative information. We got, we got to start checking people and saying, look, dude, if you got nothing positive to say to me, if you're not on here speaking positivity and life to people on social media, if you're not speaking life to people on YouTube, then listen, man, what are you doing? We understand there's negative things that happen. We got to expose that stuff. But at the same time, Where's the solution coming from? Where's the solution? What's the solution? How are we going to fix the problem? What can we end this on a positive note? If you can't, then I don't I don't want to hear it. If you've got no solutions for these things, if you can't figure something out, if you're not working towards a solution at least, then don't 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 come on here. Don't 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 come at me with this stuff. I don't want to hear it. You know? I don't want to hear it. And so that's what it's all about, man. You know? That's what it's all about. We got to break out of this um, this mental enslavement that we're still operating under. We have to stop uh, attacking one another. We have to stop hating on one another. We have to stop using the social media platforms that now pay you for views. Instagram pays for IGTV stories, if you didn't know that. Once you reach a certain amount of, view, of followers on Instagram and a certain amount of IGTV story views, hours, watch hours, you get paid. I make money on my Instagram IGTV story videos. I average about 35, 40 bucks a video. I get paid on Instagram reels now. You get paid on reels. If you have a certain amount of watch hours, you can get paid on reels. They just automatically approve you, and then next thing you know, you're getting paid on reels. You can turn it off or you can keep it on. I get paid on reels. Now you can, of course, if you get a certain amount of watch hours on YouTube and a certain amount of subscribers, you can get paid on YouTube for every view. So what people have done, the buck fighters have done, is they've decided, oh, wow, now all I got to do is make up a whole bunch of shit, talk crap about people. Black people are going to vibe with that because it's all they love. They're actually laughing at you. 
I can draw them in and I can get these views and I can get this money so I can pay my bills and buy my weed and my beer and whatever else I'm gonna buy. Hang out, pay my bills. So they're using you. They're pimping you, they're using you at the highest level. They're actually absorbing and stealing your energy. They found a way to rob you from your conscious light energy by getting you to see the notification on the screen that you now respond to with a conscious light wave. Then you tap, you tap the button and while it's playing, your light waves are absorbing all this information, this hate and this turmoil and this trauma and it's giving you an emotional response, but it's also giving them a financial gain. So they've pimped you, they've taken your energy and converted your energy into finances. And you're not even aware of it. You've been pimped, just like a preacher pimps the, pimps, pimps the, uh, the people at church. You've been pimped. Pimped. So anyway guys, I gotta go, because I gotta get back to work over here. I gotta knock some things out before uh, I get ready to go on with my day over here in the Maldives in this beautiful paradise because I'm going to have my heaven on earth. I'm not going to wait to die so I can live. I'm going to go ahead and live right now. And guess what you're never going to see Forbidden Knowledge doing? You're never going to see Forbidden Knowledge getting online and attacking people, making up information about people just for views and money. Because that's the lowest form of uh, consciousness. It's the lowest form. The lowest, absolute lowest form. And those who partake in that, who get a thrill and excitement out of that, those people are the lowest form of life on the planet as well. They're the laughing stock of Earth. The people that parlay in that and get excited by it and get enthralled by it, those are the lowest level of human being that you can come across on the planet. The lowest frequency, the lowest vibration, the absolute lowest. They know nothing, they have no real knowledge. They're stealing you, they're stealing your energy for financial gain through making up controversy on social media so that they can actually put money in their bank account, buy weed, buy beer, buy baby diapers, or whatever else they gotta pay for, car payments and everything else. They can't wait for that little $300 YouTube check. When that $300 YouTube check comes in, they're excited. They're like, damn, I got them again. I reached my pinnacle of success here. And if I keep making up more lies and more turmoil and I keep attacking more black people, the way this thing is working out, I can end up making a thousand dollars a month. That's what they're thinking, guys. That's what they're doing. It's just pimping you from for money. It's stealing your energy and exchanging it for cash. The lowest form of a human being on the planet. Black on black attacks. Meanwhile, George Zimmerman, untouched. All the politicians that made up all these laws that locked up black people, untouched. All the people who enslaved all these people around the planet, virtually untouched. Didn't touch them. All these hardcore gangsters that kill each other every single day in the streets. 30 killings last week in Chicago. All black. Black on black. No white people got killed. All black. Black on black. The black attack. Meanwhile, the white people that run Chicago above the governor, above all them, the people who, who set that cunt, that city up to be a failure, untouched. All the judges that keep locking up kids on victimless crimes, black men and black women on victimless crimes for 20 and 30 years, untouched. They go to sleep good at night knowing there's nobody gonna come kill them, nobody gonna come attack them. <laughs> Are you kidding me? These black people ain't gonna attack us. They're too scared. We program them real good. They're real good boys and girls, ain't they? You know, you guys just kill each other, attack each other, physically and socially, and you get a, you get a, a, a emotional sensation off of that. All these reality shows where black people are attacking black people, you got to put your conscious energy into the show to focus on. You got to touch the button and and tune tune into that frequency to watch it, and they convert your frequency into cash. They take your energy from your actual avatar body and your consciousness and convert it into actual money that they can spend. And the people that run those TV shows are multi-millionaires and multi-billionaires of stealing the energy from black people to, wet, to get black people to watch black people attack black people. That's the bull crap that we've been doing. And now they're doing it on YouTube. 
I was like, ooh, I don't even need a TV producer. I could just hop on YouTube and talk a bunch of crap. And I can get the money. I could steal this money right now. And that's what's happening every single day. All right? Anyway, guys, look, I love you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. You know me. I'm going to address the elephant in the room. I'm going to say it like I'm going to talk it like it is. That's how I got to be where I am and who I am. By talk, speaking, exactly what's going on. And, uh, and my information is always backed by, by Google or, or YouTube or library source resources. You can go look my information up. Whereas these other people, they have nothing to back them up. But a whole bunch of hogwash. They could just, whatever they could think off the top of their head to keep you guys on and keep stringing you longer and longer and longer. Get you to keep exchanging energy for money. That's what they're doing. Exchanging energy for money. They provide no real value to the world. They provide no real value whatsoever. Not one. There's no value that they can provide. There's no real value. They have no real knowledge. They haven't read, read one ancient text. All they've done is watch a couple of YouTube videos. And, 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 and that's it. It is running off of what it heard other people say. And it just keeps getting more fake news keeps getting passed. More fake news. More fake news over and over again. And it's become a fake news virus. And it's all attacking black people. Because they know if they attack white people, nobody cares. Like, oh yeah, why would you why are you saying this about so and so? We don't even care about that. No, they gotta attack a black person. Then the black people go, Oh yeah. Listen to this. Let me share this link. Ooh, look, 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 look what's going on here. Attack a white person is like, well, oh, I mean, this is boring. I don't want to hear this. Let me get off of this and go to some other another account. Attack a black person. Oh wow, look at this. Look what they're doing. You see? It's the old buck fighting DNA. It's a programming code. The programming code, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Check out my show that I did uh, on Forbidden Knowledge TV. I put it on YouTube, actually. It's one of my YouTube episodes, my podcast. What's plaguing the black community. It's on, this, it's on this YouTube platform. Go down, scroll down and find that video and watch it. It's a little bit of an eye-opener for you. Okay? Anyway, I appreciate you, guys, appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the great comments. Thank you guys for the don donations today. Normally, I can shout out, shout out the donations as they're coming in, but I didn't want to lose my train of thought. I just wanted to hop on real quick, man, and um, I'll let you know. And, you know, and I talk about I, so, I talk about shortcomings in various different races of people. White, black, Mexican, uh, or I'm going to say Hispanic, which they're not, they're not really Hispanic. There is no such thing as a Hispanic Mexican. Mexicans are Mayans and the Aztecs. They were raped into speaking Spanish. But I, I touch on the different races, where the shortcomings are, what we have to do to become unified and become one and love one another. Until we learn how to love one another on this planet and treat, treat each other with respect and dignity, we are going nowhere as a planet. Nowhere. And I do mean nowhere. We're going to go backwards. Backwards. And if somebody's not providing solutions to create a loving environment and a helping and service to others environment, they're looking to steal your energy for money. They're looking to exchange your energy for cash. That's what they're looking to do. Look at all the workshops that I've done that have taught people and helped people make. Some people have made millions of dollars off my information. Some people have achieved and, uh, and, and, uh, and achieved their goals, their dreams. Some people have learned things that can help them and take them to the next level with their selves and their family. Knowledge of self. People have really uh, vibed with the information and I have thousands of testimonials on Forbidden Knowledge TV in the comments as well as on social media. When you look at these people, they have no testimonials. There's nothing that they've given anybody other than controversy that a person can actually say, watching this made my life actually better. I've bettered myself. I've learned something. I've, I've been able to pass something down for generations to my family that's going to make them my legacy, build my legacy, make my legacy better. There's nothing there. They have, did, they have given you absolutely nothing. What they've done is they've robbed you of your energy and converted that into cash. All right? All right, guys. Peace. I got to run. But have a beautiful day, and I will see you guys soon.